I've been working on a project to get a really short, really reactive, really nervous foil. And to do this, I need a short fuselage with the mast move forward. So we already have from Axis, this Axis Sealy Short. So it's 560 millimeters, 56 centimeters long, and the mast has been moved forward 40 millimeters in comparison with the original standard black fuselage, okay? But this is still very giving me a feel of being locked in compared to the previous foil I was riding. So what I decided to do since Axis doesn't make any shorter fuselage is to take the matter in my own hands. And to do this, I myself machine a slot so that I can move forward the foil by 37 centimeters in comparison with the black silly short fuselage. So I add to machine the flat part in the bottom machine some holes to be able to attach. So you see here, these are the original attachment points that were filled with epoxy. These are the new ones that are 37 millimeters forward. You can also see I shortened the tail. So I cut a big part of the tail that I didn't need it. Machine this part to make it flat, tap some holes into it, make this part round. I haven't painted it yet because I'm not done. But uh, this is the new thing, and it's a lot more reactive, a lot more controllable, maneuverable than the original one. So for the sake of comparison, you can see here, I have on the bottom, the original Silly Short fuselage here, which is uh, 560 millimeters. And this is the new one on top, where this one is 45 centimeters. So 45 centimeters versus 56 centimeters. So it's a much, much shorter one. And you can see the mass attachment point has moved by 37 millimeters. So if you look at it, that is when it's completely mount, you can see here uh, on top, it's mounted with the uh, ART 799 front wing. And on the bottom, this is the original uh, silly short fuselage. So you see that the mast here, this is a no limits mass because it's much lighter than the axis uh, or uh, mass that they provide. And the attachment point of the mass has been moved forward 37 millimeters and also it's much shorter. I don't use anymore the axis tab because they have this kind of all part and this one has already been shortened up in terms of height and this gives a locked in feel. Okay, it's like if you have a rudder on the behind your foil that prevent it from rotating around the mass. So instead I use these Oru very slim, very neutral profile uh, stab that are much shorter. So this one was already uh, 300 millimeters that I cut to 250. I use instead this one, which is a little bit wider, but so much thinner that it's gonna give me less drag. Okay, so both have the same 35 millimeter spacing between the holes in the attachment point. Behind. And if we look at how the diet did it in terms of uh, operation, so you can see the first step here is gonna be to uh, remove the material on the bottom in order to make a parallel surface so that the top here, which is the original plane, is also parallel to the bottom that is not originally flat then I can mill the inside pocket here by fixing the fuselage on the bench table. And once that's it done, I can mill the bottom part here. So for attaching the, the rear tab, I actually mill this part virtually like this. And when this is done, I could cut the part behind and sand down the end part so that it will reduce the drag at the end. Then when that was done, I can ride it. And what is the feeling when we ride it? Actually, it's something that's a lot more reactive. Okay, why is that? Because if you want to carve left, this is a little bit like a motorbike. You have to counter steer, meaning if I want to carve left, I need to point the foil right. That's going to move the foil away from my feet and I'm going to naturally carve. So if you have a long fuselage or if you have a large part here, like the part that is created a bit like this, so when you have this part plus the foil, that makes kind of a rudder that prevents it from moving laterally like this. So instead, by adding something that is shorter, you're gonna have less lever harm when you want to spin, when you want to twist the foil. And the less height you're gonna have here by assembling directly the stab onto the fuselage, you're gonna reduce the height, reduce the lateral drag, so you're gonna be able to have something that is a lot more maneuverable. So what you see here is a very small day 
small waves. I was with a five meter, it was like 17, 18 knots, and still I can get that snappiness out of the foil. So this is just an experiment, of course. I don't plan to start to mass market them, but I, I hope that with this, I'm gonna encourage other people to also experiment, make some try, make some prototype, and get the manufacturer to start making some more reactive, more nervous, more maneuverable material. So as they call this one, the silly short fuselage, and it's 56 centimeter long, I think I'm gonna call this one radically short because it's already 11 centimeter shorter than uh, what they do. So this is my new prototype of the radically short axis black fuselage. And I really encourage you to, if you can either make it yourself or whenever you're gonna have access to shorter stabulars for the existing one, try it, you'll see you're not gonna come back from it.